So the Garden Co-op is a very encouraging and holistic initiative. However, it couldn't possibly address every aspect of our very flawed and unsustainable food system. For example, the fact that every day we throw away one third of the food that we produce. Madness, I know. For this, I had to call one of the most experienced food savers I know and to invite him for a cup of coffee. Let's go. Thank you, Nana, for being here. How long have you been saving food? Now it's over five years ago I started. Why would you say that this issue is important for you, personally? There are three points of views. The first point is, of course, not uh, to waste food. And also, it's for the owner, for the business owner, it's also they don't spend that much money for, for the food waste. And for me, it's also good. I don't uh, have to pay for it. And the third point is also, uh, I can give it to people, from, for example, they don't have that much money and they're also happy, so, yeah. What would you say the situation in Freiburg is? Like, how much food is being wasted or saved in Freiburg? Maybe 10% of wasted food or leftover food is, uh, is not thrown away, so there are 90%, so there's a lot of uh, food left we can also save. Also in Freiburg, I think it's maybe 90% companies that don't uh, cooperate with food sharing and yeah. and also there's a huge number of food thrown away in, in the households so at home people buy too much food and then throw it away. Yeah. Okay so just uh, so we can have a better understanding of food sharing would you mind explaining what is it exactly and how does it work? Yeah we start cooperation with for example supermarkets or also markets where, can, where you can buy fresh food or vegetables and we ask them if they want to cooperate with us, if they have leftover food and companies can do it on, on their own. They can also on foodsharing.de can apply there and ask if we want to cooperate with them. What would be the ideal steps that the city of Freiburg can take to help them fight um, urban food waste? Mm, it wouldn't be bad to have a place where we can also have our meetings or prepare our food because it's not that fresh anymore so it has to be prepared very quickly, maybe make some salads or cook something also for, for needy people or make a kind of soup kitchen so people can go, come there and, and you know, take the food and also a kind of representative for, for food sharing in Freiburg. Everybody sees, okay, this, this is our place, we can come there and if we have questions, also companies can come there and ask us. So as you can see, the city of Freiburg is full of responsible, aware and initiative people that are willing to work for a better, more sustainable future. And I think that the city could and should provide them with communication channels, platform, and even facilities. So maybe this time is calling us to stop speaking in terms of bottom up or top down. Maybe it could actually go both ways and meet somewhere in the middle. Because the challenges that we're facing are immense and to solve them, we have to start thinking in different ways. Citizens and governments, cities and states, all together.